In this video, we open the box and take a first look at the new Smart Vacuum from WISE. Let's begin by taking a look at the website to see what we get for a $250 smart robot. We get LiDAR, we get brains and power, we get seven sensor groups, including gyroscopes and collision sensors. It's a powerful sucker. And uh, we also get app control, control everything via your app, including mapping and a base station. The Shufi was the first smart vacuum I had, but it doesn't have the brains that the Wise vacuum has. Let's take a look and see what's inside as we open the box. First thing I did was turn the box upside down. Let's open the box upside down. In my case, the first thing I noticed were these corner brushes. You receive two. One will attach to the vacuum now and one for later. I've removed the vacuum, we'll come back to that, but next we find the Quick Start Guide, and here we have absolutely nothing. The Quick Start Guide is everything you need to get you connected quickly. Then underneath that, we have the User's Manual. Inside the User's Manual, you'll find nomenclature and how to connect all the parts and pieces. Next, we have the Charging Station. The Charging Station includes a bumper, so that when the vacuum bumps up against it, these little connectors will actually move in and out of the tower or remove the plastic wrapping. And then you'll find the wall wart. We'll connect the wall wart a little bit later and uh, wrap the cable around the cable management system. And finally, we have our HEPA filter, which is a spare. There is one already installed. Coming back to our vacuum, you'll notice we have our wheels, we have our suction unit. We also have these connectors that protect the bumper in transit. Next, we have a few sensors. Here's our infrared sensor. Here's our LiDAR power that includes all of our LiDAR radars. Here's our brushes. We have our wheels and uh, we have our roller wheel on the front. Now, we mentioned that little corner brush. Let's go ahead and get that attached. Snaps right into place. Let's go ahead and connect our wall wart to our charging tower. It does come with this nice built-in cable management system so that we don't have just a bunch of wire running around our floors. Go ahead and wire that up. Make sure that's the length that you need. And once you have everything in place, we'll go ahead and replace the cover, snap that into place, and our charging base is ready to go. Here's my charging tower of power in place connected to a wise plug so that I can control when the battery is charging and when it's not. With the charger plugged in, let's see if we can get our robot charging. We'll go ahead and move it in manually, but this robot does include homing and can find its charger on its own. One of my favorite features is the audio prompts. Listen to this as I plug it in. Turning on. And as I turn it off. Turning off. And turn on. Turning on. You'll find that our Wise Vacuum is pretty chatty. Start recharging. I mentioned earlier the Wise Vacuum can auto home. Here it is in progress. Starting to charge. With the vacuum all set up, now it's time to connect to Wi-Fi and connect to our WISE app. Wi-Fi connection has been reset, awaiting network connection. I loaded the WISE app on my Android tablet to begin the pairing process, create and add a new device to my network. We simply go through the steps. It connects. It's pretty quick. We give the robot a name. I'm going to call this WISE Vacuum. Wow, how unique is that? A lot of thought behind that name. And then we get some information about charging it, plugging it in. We've already done all that. And of course, there's a firmware update. Let's go ahead and get that updated. Once we do, we're ready to roll. And you see us have status on our charging. We can set clean schedules. We can check our suction level. We can set notifications. We can look at our clean records. We can look at our maintenance items on the device itself. There is a lot of great information in the WISE app for this vacuum. I found pairing the vacuum with the app to go pretty smoothly. I didn't have any big issues. I did have to try it a couple of times. For my Pixel 4, I found out that I needed to turn off my mobile cellular plan data. I'm not sure why. So here we are opening the top. This is where you will find this handy dandy cleaning tool and cutting tool. Get all those hairs and strings that may get wrapped around your rollers. Put that back in place. We also have our collection unit here. We'll take a look at that a little bit later, but the unit just pop just it pops right out of there. Dust bin removed. 
and then what happens is it opens up so that you can empty your dustbin. As we turn the dustbin around, we will find the HEPA filter, which if you remember, there is a spare in the box, handy to have. Here is some information on the HEPA filter cleaning. And here we go, opening up the dustbin unit. It is a little tricky to get open and pretty hard. Uh, that may get easier as we use the bin more. Let me go ahead and put the bin back in the robotic unit. Starting to charge. Dust bin installed. And finally close our lid and we're ready to give this a shot. I've not spent a whole lot of time with the Wise Vacuum, but one of the things I do like is this mapping feature. As you run the robot through your home, it uses its LiDAR technology to completely map your vacuuming space. And I've done a little portion of the house. I've not done the entire house, but I've done just enough to let it roam around in a couple of rooms. What you're watching right now is the robot going through a mapping routine. The vacuum is not turned on. It is just in learn mode so that it can learn about the environment it will be vacuuming. Once the mapping is complete, you can go in and name the spaces. You can split areas into separate rooms and then give each one of those areas a separate name. So you can go through your house and tailor the mapping so that it completely matches the area where you want to vacuum. While this feature isn't available now, I highly expect the vacuum to be tied to our Google Assistant so that we can say, hey, Assistant, vacuum the living room and the vacuum will take off from its charger and vacuum that space. The other thing I really like is that you can set up virtual walls. That is, you can tell your map where you do not want it to vacuum, as you can see in my map here. I decided to have some fun with the vacuum and I threw a wireless wise cam. I do have a video on that camera. If you'd like to see that, check the video description below. I put it on top of the vacuum and now we can watch it as it goes across the floor until we have this little accident here. I forgot to account for a television cabinet that the camera and the vacuum would not fit under. Now, once the vacuum completes a vacuuming, it does come back and ask you if you would like to update your map. It appears the software gets smarter with each subsequent vacuuming. With the first vacuum complete, let's take a look in the dustbin and see what we picked up on our, what I thought were pretty clean floors. Dustbin removed. Our little chatty vacuum indicates that the dustbin has been removed. Here is the dust. I did take the dustbin outside and you can see there's quite a few particles and bits and pieces. I was pretty pleased with this since it was only on this standard suction setting. Here's our HEPA filter and uh, if you remember the instructions for cleaning the HEPA filter are right here and the HEPA filter pops right out for easy cleaning. You can go ahead and blow out this little area just to make sure you get any dust in. I'd say you probably don't need to do a real thorough cleaning except for a few times after a few vacuumings, but other than that, it's really an easy unit to clean. We'll go ahead and put everything back together and then we'll take the dust bin and put it back into our vacuum. Once we have our dustbin back in our vacuum, we hear, dust installed. we close the lid and we let the vacuum charge so it's ready for our next home vacuuming session. This video isn't a complete review of the Wise Vacuum, but let me give you a few thoughts. What do I think about it as compared to my Eufy? It is definitely an upgrade for my Eufy. My Eufy was not a very smart vacuum. It did its job and it would go around and it would bump things and learn the environment, but it didn't keep that detailed mapping like the Wise Vacuum. I'm really digging the mapping features, the LiDAR technology, the bumper technology, the infrared technology. It really seems to be learning more about the home and the area that it is vacuuming. As you know, I'm a huge Wise fan. I've got lots of videos on a lot of different products, and this is just a really nice addition. I can't wait until they do have our Assistant features built in. Right now, Alexa and Google Assistant are not available for this device. However, I do anticipate that that will come with future updates. Firmware updates have already been regular. I'm glad to see those. This thing can only get better. And so far, I would say, just from a very first vacuuming, I did run the Eufy prior to running the Wise vacuum, and you saw the amount of dust that it still picked up. I do believe that since I was on the standard suction level, I should probably go up to the next level and run it again but I do think it's probably going to be a pretty good 
vacuum. I'm looking forward to setting it up on a, on a standard routine where it vacuums every couple of days. We do have pets, so grabbing all that pet hair and that dander on a regular basis would be helpful around our home. So overall for $220, which is what I paid as an early backer of the product instead of the $250, I think it's a great product. It's about what I paid for the Eufy. So I think I really got a great update. So that's it for my review. Not really a review, but a first look and open the box of of the Wise Vacuum. If you have questions, make sure you leave those in the comments below. Be sure to check out the companion blog post for this video where they'll have additional information. So for now, thanks for watching this video on the Wise Vacuum.